Hey guys, and welcome to the Tech Channel. If you guys never been here before, this is our channel where you're gonna find our unboxings, our reviews, and informational stuff to help you guys out there along on your RC journey. Today's pretty cool because our friends over at Eclipson sent us this awesome product right here in front of me, and I get to share it with you guys and tell you what I think. If you guys never heard of Eclipson before, they're a company that designs and specializes in 3D printed aircraft. They'll take the 3D print file, put it up online for purchase for people like you and I. And that's what they did here with the EBW160, also known as the Blackwing. Now this is the UAV version of the Blackwing, which means it just gives you the capabilities to carry more stuff. Things like HD FPV, VTXs, flight controllers, GPS modules, pretty much anything you can think of to either have FPV flight or even full autonomous flight where you can set waypoints and do surveying missions. This thing's got it all and it can fit everything you need right inside of it. Another thing I should mention is that this plane is super lightweight for the wingspan that it is. It measures at 1.6 meters and it comes in only at 42 ounces, which is pretty remarkable. That being said, it does still fit in my backseat of my compact car, which to me is a big plus because I'm not a fan of having to take something apart to travel with it. So if I can just slide in my backseat and get to the field and up and flying as fast as I can, that's like a double thumbs up for me. Now, I have to be completely honest with you guys. I didn't build this from the ground up. Our buddies over at Eclipse and sent this thing in three pieces and all I had to do was glue them together and solder a couple of things and this guy was ready to rock and roll. But keep that in mind, you are gonna need some sort of 3D printer or a good friend to help you at least print these 3D prints out. If you guys never heard of 3D printing before, that is the type of printing where you would take some sort of filament, plastic, and you put that into a printer, and the printer head actually heats up that plastic and prints out any kind of 3D object that you tell it to print. All that said, once you have all the pieces printed, it's pretty simple to just take some CA glue or some hobby glue and glue all the pieces together. There's little tabs that line up with each other. Just glue those tabs and then stick them together. Now there are a couple other things that you're gonna have to do such as like attaching the control surfaces. I went ahead and used one of my old techniques that my cousin taught me and just used some packaging tape. I put it on both sides of the control surface. That way it acts as a hinge. I know there's other options out there that you can buy that are actually taped hinges. Now something I gotta mention is just the way this thing looks. I had it sitting out on the workbench and every time somebody would come into the HQ and uh, look at this thing, they were like, what is that? Who makes it? Uh, this thing is awesome. You could tell Eclipsen really put their heart and soul into this wing because every little detail is thought out from the motor mount to the flap hinge system that opens up to where you set all the modules. Everything has its place and rhyme and reason. So when we went outside to fly the aircraft, I had Josh fly it and we opted out not to use the flight controller. So we just put one of our 35 amp flight test ESCs in it and he flew it line of sight. Now, since he flew it line of sight, he did say it was hard to see since they used a clear filament to print out this aircraft. But if you use different colored filaments, you should have no problem seeing it line of sight. And this aircraft's more designed to fly FPV anyways. Now, when we went to go fly it, we didn't know how we were gonna launch it, where we were gonna do a wing toss, where we go over our head. Luckily for us, Eclipsen sent us a bungee mechanism, which they actually show you how to use on their website with their video. And I just went on there and I copied and mimicked the exact same setup, how they staked it to the ground. And we actually went out there put it on the bungee system, pulled it back, and as soon as I let off, Josh was up and flying uh, in no time. It really got up in the air, which personally, I've never used the bungee system like that, but it was a nice treat for a wing like this. Once this thing got up in the air, it flew like it was on rails. And we were actually worried about if it was gonna fly good because without vertical stabilizers, we didn't know if it was gonna track straight, but all that worry was for nothing because this thing flew great. So the question is, what type of person is gonna enjoy this aircraft? And I think personally, somebody that likes to build, because you're gonna be doing a lot of 3D printing, a lot of gluing parts together, 
But that being said, if that's you, this is gonna be awesome because it's 27 bucks, you get the plans, and if you crash, you can just repeatedly keep printing piece after piece. And this thing really flew awesome. And I wanna give a big shout out to Eclipse Inn for sponsoring this video and letting us get our hands on one of their aircraft because it flew amazing. If this is an aircraft that you wanna build and you wanna purchase the files, make sure to use our discount code FLIGHT. That's gonna get you 5% off at checkout. And I wanna thank you guys out there for tuning in and checking this out. If you guys like this content, make sure to hit that subscribe and notification bell and let us know in the comments what you wanna see next. More unboxing, more informational stuff, whatever you guys wanna see, we'll try to get it out to you and I'll catch you on the next one.